Hi Stampers! Today I want to show you the Bride and Groom card. I make this as a set of 15 for newlyweds so that they can thank their guests for gifts they receive at their wedding. So, to get started, I use the dress stamp from it's My Sentiments Exactly. I'm just using some tinted embossing ink to get it wet. Then I'm going to stamp it on some matte white paper. When I stamp, I make sure to keep constant pressure on the stamp, so there's always one hand putting pressure on the stamp. Next, I'm going to emboss it with some bridal embossing powder. And this is basically white embossing powder with glitter. And I stamp it on top of some scratch paper so that I can just collect it back up and put it back in the jar when I'm finished. So I clean up my workstation prior to heat setting it. So I heat set with an embossing gun and I then trim out the dress. So I cut it out with this regular pair of scissors and I like to trim it really close to the edge of the stamp. Then here's what it's like on black paper. Next I am making uh, the tuxedo shirt and I'm using my compass to do that. This is actually a little time consuming and kind of geeky. If you didn't like it in high school I'm not sure you're going to really enjoy making it here. So I'm going to go ahead and include the template on my blog so you can download the shape. Once I cut that out, uh, I use that as my guide to make the shape on some white glitter paper. And this is from DCWB. I'm going to put this on the black paper at the top left, but I don't put it too close to the edge because I want to have room for the lapels. So I tape that down. But make sure you don't put the tape uh, all the way to the top because uh, the lapel sticks over the card. I want to make sure that the edges are secured really well, so I use a little glue pen as well. So put that up at the top, as I mentioned before, leaving room for the lapels on the left and right. And you'll notice here that it's, it's sticking a little bit above the card. So next, I take the shiny black paper, put it in the paper cutter, just at a really small angle. So once I cut the first one, then I can put the paper in straight. Next I cut the bow tie in the shiny black paper as well, and I just cut two triangles on either side to give me that bow tie shape. Then I use a small paper cutter, or sorry, hole punch, and cut out four buttons, and then I start assembling. So I start with a lapel on either side, just with a glue pen. And then you'll notice that they're actually a little long, so I take my scissors and just trim it off and follow the edge of the card. Then I begin um, creating the, the shirt, so I attach the bow tie. Then I like to have a little, um, one of the hole punches used as the knot in the bow tie. And then I use three buttons. And I have found that I prefer three buttons over just two. Just gives it more of a, a classy feel. So here I am, in fast motion, attaching three buttons. It's a little tricky, kind of sticks to your finger a bit. Then I attach the dress. So the tuxedo's done, and all that's left is the dress. So I use double stick tape. Don't use any glue for this particular project, but I also like to put on a little ribbon around the waistline. So I try to find out the colors of the wedding beforehand, and uh, use a use that color as the ribbon. So in this case the wedding color was blue. So I just put it at the waistline, turn the card over, and wrap the ribbon around onto the double stick tape. And I like that ribbon to be extra secure so I'm going to take some additional double stick tape and cover the ribbon on the back side and then I will attach it to the card. For more information uh, on this uh, you, and other samples, you can go to uh, Split Coast Stampers where I originally got the idea for the card. So after I attach it, I'm going to add the little thank you tag. Here I'm using the thank you stamp from Stampin' Up! and I'm using some black stays on ink on shiny white paper. So I trim that out to one by three and a quarter and I have it done here. I'm going to put a little blue paper as a border around it. So I'm going to trim that to 3 and 7 eighths by 1 and a quarter. I'm using DCWB glitter blue paper. 
So I'm going to use double stick tape just to tape the white thank you sentiment onto the blue glitter paper. And then I want to have that actually puffed up from the cards. I'm going to use some dimensional tape, also known as mounting tape. And I like to have that overlap the dress and then go onto the black space to the right of the dress. So I'll just space that right where I want. And then nothing's complete without a little bling, so I'm going to get some gemstones and uh, attach that onto the ribbon. And I like to use the same color gem as the ribbon. Here's the completed card for the bride and groom, and I like to tuck in a piece of white paper for them to write a note on to their guests. Uh, and here is a variation of the bride and groom card. This one is uh, on a gate fold card, sometimes referred to as a C-fold card, and I modified it with an extra layer of dress. Here are the list of the supplies I used to make the card. For more information, visit my blog at www.stampingwithprincess.wordpress.com